What's up guys, welcome back to Stoffer Garage. Today I am doing a disaster deep clean transformation of the dirtiest car I could find on Facebook Marketplace. I picked this car up for a whopping $600. It drove home, but from these shots you guys can tell that the interior is definitely the reason why I picked it up for $600. So I'm excited to transform this car, make it look like new again, show you guys all of the steps and all the tools that I use to make it happen. And if you guys like these sort of videos, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe and turn on notifications so you do not miss out on any new deep cleans that I have coming out in the near future. And with that being said, Let's get started. And the first step we're gonna do is we're gonna pull everything out of the vehicle. All the trash, all the crap, definitely wearing gloves, maybe doubling it up, double bagging it, and uh, cleaning everything out of it that I can pull out of it without using a vacuum first. Seeing the real stains, seeing what's underneath some of this trash, getting a better idea, and chucking all this stuff in the trash can as fast as I can. Now taking out the seats might seem insane to do, but in this case with this type of vehicle and how trashed it is, it made complete sense to pull as much out of the car as possible to get to all those spots that would be super hard to get to with an extractor. So for all of you guys that weren't sure if I was telling the truth about this being the worst detail I've ever done, I'm hoping these before shots and as I'm going through this car, you guys truly understand the magnitude of the filth in this vehicle. I'm actually even surprised myself once I took the seats out how much stuff was underneath those. The good news is with it all out of the vehicle, it makes it easier to get all of the different areas where like I pulled off that chunk of moldy chicken nuggets. Like, I don't even know why people drove around in this car. I'm definitely getting my money's worth for 600 bucks and definitely getting a challenge. I might try to pull off some more panels too just to try to minimize how much dirt's left. I mean, it's just, this is, this is intense. So um, let's get everything out and get the seats out in the front, get the center console out, and then we'll start the vacuuming. So this is what I found once I took the seats out, which is exactly why I wanted to do it in the first place. And what I'm gonna go ahead and do is pick up all of the bigger pieces that might get stuck in the shop back because that's the last thing that I want to have happen. Since I'm gonna be using an extractor to get out the stains and the dirt within the carpet fibers itself, the main purpose of the vacuuming stage is just to get the larger stuff out of the carpet off the surface within a reasonable amount of time. So if you guys saw our little friend that was crawling out of that center console box at the very beginning of this video, I want you guys to leave a hashtag below, hashtag Roach Motel. You guys won't believe how many dead roaches I found within the video. You might be able to pick them out like almost like Where's Waldo in some of these shots, but it was straight up disgusting. But I wanna see that hashtag in the comments below. So this car in particular had dirt in every possible location. So that was the main reason why I took off all the door sills, all the panels, took out the whole glove box component because underneath it was still some more trash. And plus with all of that liquid and crap that had kind of solidified in those cup holders and around the emergency brake, it made complete sense in this case to kind of disassemble the interior as much as physically possible. One tip I have for you guys that if you're planning to do a large section of carpet cleaning in your car or home or wherever, I recommend picking up one of these spray bottles which you can get at any hardware store that they would use for like fertilizer or some sort of bug spray that you would use outside your house. It makes life easier to take a liquid carpet cleaner dilute it down within that bottle, but you're not using that trigger pump spray bottle and your wrist getting all tired and your fingers hurting afterwards. This just makes it so much easier to get enough of the fluid down so that way when you bust out your drill brush, you have enough fluid on the surface to agitate the carpet and get the job done. Thank you. 
And this is the first detail that I've been able to use my new Sandia extractor, which has been a lifesaver, especially when it came to this video. I couldn't have imagined doing this job with the old equipment that I had been using. Because of the magnitude of this actual cleaning, I couldn't have done it without this tool. So I highly recommend it after this job. I had no issues. It did an amazing job at extracting. So if you guys are interested in picking up any of the tools or products that I use, I definitely have them listed in the description box below for you guys. If you guys could only imagine trying to do this exact same job with the seats in and that center console in, just imagine how much carpet I would have missed getting to if those components were still in here, which is why I took them out for this specific job. So here are the results after doing a single pass with the extractor. I am now doing a second pass because these carpets were so saturated with just pure yuck that I, a second pass was definitely something that needed to be done. The solution that I'm using is actually from Chemical Guys. It's a carpet cleaning solution that gets diluted down. In this case, I used about a 10 to 1 ratio, which if you guys don't know what that means, it's just you're using 10 parts water to one part cleaning solution. And I mix that inside my spray bottle or in this case inside of my extractor as well. One of the things that I wish that you guys could honestly experience is the smell that this car emits. Like it is, it's one of those smells that when you breathe it in, it lingers for like two to three days. Like I can still smell it to this moment. I mean, it, it was just, it was horrible. That's all I can say. It was probably the worst smell I've ever experienced. Guys, today is a new day. I wasn't able to get the whole detail done in one day, but it worked out well because I was able to leave the car open and let all those carpets dry out after doing those two passes with the extractor. Today is gonna be focused on getting these seats completely clean. These are the ones that are gonna need all the work. So using the extractor, using everything I can to get these all clean. But what I'm gonna do first is all of these plastic panels, including the glove box and center console, I'm just gonna take those outside and hit them with a pressure washer. So for the seats and the carpet in the back trunk, I'm gonna be using essentially the same process. What we need to do first is obviously vacuum the surface, then we're gonna apply our cleaner, and then we're gonna use our drill brush to agitate the surface to get that dirt lifted up from the fibers, and then follow up with our extractor. If you are planning on taking out seats or any of the components that you can work on outside of the vehicle, I highly recommend getting some sort of fold up table or if you have a workbench, using that to work on instead of having to bend over or put them on the ground because one, it's easier to keep a table clean, but also you're saving your back and your body some of that stress. So 
So depending on what kind of seats you guys are cleaning, if you wanna use a drill brush, make sure you're using it on a fabric type seat that is not super old, that is not delicate, that doesn't have any rips or tears because they can be somewhat aggressive depending on the type of surface that it is. I would not recommend using a drill brush on leather, but for majority of fabric seats that are fairly new, that don't have any rips, they do an amazing job at aggravating the surface to get that dirt lifted for your extractor. I will say that I was actually blown away with the results of just a single pass on these seats, how much dirt came out of them, how clean they got. And then once I was done with extracting all of these different components, I sat them outside in the hot sun to dry. Now for the back of the seats where there was leather and then also on the side bolsters where you have those plastic panels and the recline knob, I'm just using my all-purpose cleaner that is diluted 20 to 1 and a microfiber towel to wipe down those surfaces. Also make sure you don't forget about extracting the headrest because that is a spot that you definitely want to clean if you're buying a used car. So now it's time to move to the panels. I'm actually starting with the front passenger side and kind of working my way around the vehicle to the driver's side. What I'm using is my all-purpose cleaner, which is diluted to 20 to one. And I have a soft bristle brush that I'm using to kind of aggravate the surface to get in some of those cracks that you kind of see on a panel. Once I have the surface clean, I'm following up with my Chemical Guys Silk and Shine, which is just a topper surface that is a UV protectant, but also gives it that nice matte finish that I like. For the windows, I'm using invisible glass and I'm just spraying my microfiber towel before wiping the windows clean. Like I mentioned earlier, having some sort of surface to work on, especially in this case where I had all of these panels pulled out of the car, I can now work with them on this surface to get them cleaned with my all-purpose cleaner and then follow it up with my topper coat. Thank you. 
Now that all those panels are clean, it is time to move to the dashboard, which in this case, I'm using all of the same different chemicals that I've already talked about before. But I know that everybody's mentioned about using the Magic Eraser from Mr. Clean. I have not tried that yet. I didn't have any on hand, but I was definitely going to try it on some of these plastic panels to see how it did. So if you actually have ever used a Magic Eraser on your car, let me know in the comments below how it turned out. One tool that I like to use, especially when it comes to cleaning the dashboard and any of the different buttons and components are these black soft bristle brushes that I'm showing in the video. If you guys wanna check those out, definitely go to the link in the description box below. They are one tool that I cannot recommend enough, especially when it comes to getting into those different cracks and crevices inside your vehicles. One tip when doing a detail is make sure you're articulating the steering wheel up and down, you're moving the buttons back and forth, and you're making sure you're getting every possible motion of that actual component to get that dirt and grime out of those areas. Surprisingly, the headliner in this vehicle was actually pretty good condition. I didn't have any stains or anything to get to. I definitely do need to do some sort of odor bomb in this car itself to kind of get some smells out of it. But for right now, the headliner was fairly clean and so were the visors. But now that I've done all of the dashboard components, it is now time to start reassembling all the plastic panels that I had pulled out previously. Once I have all the plastic panels in, it is now time to put the seats back into the vehicle. So here's the moment that you guys have all been waiting for, the before and after shots of this transformation, which to be honest, I almost want to sell it back or try to sell it back to the person I bought it from because I don't think they're gonna have any idea that this was the car that they sold me. Like it is a completely different vehicle after this transformation and I couldn't be more impressed with the results.
So thank you guys for watching today's video. And if you're not subscribed, hit the subscribe button below and let me know in the comments below what was like the most insane transformation portion of this video. Was it the seats, the carpet, all of the above? Let me know in the comments below and thank you guys for being awesome and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.